Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? November 24th, we are a day before Thanksgiving, and I hope by reaching out and being here with you, you are doing fine, you're doing well, you are healthy, and your loved ones as well. So the topic today, of course, with anything that is happening nowadays, oh my God, what is happening nowadays with everything in our country being on this lockdown again, I want to share with you that there are so many things that we set ourselves in a lockdown without realizing. And this can happen by... how we come across in life and our behaviors and our personality either shining or being dim and not realizing the things that we do, our behaviors, our patterns, our personality is so much uh, set from a long time ago until we realize that is not how we want to be. You see, I have a friend visiting in the last few days, and uh, unfortunately, it's her day today that she's going to be leaving. But here's one thing has come up. As we were sharing gratitude and saying thank you and everything, it's having this new perception of having someone in your world, either, either as a friend or a visitor, and recognizing who you are because someone else is witnessing you. And isn't that what friendship is all about? The people we work with, our friends, our colleagues, our lovers, our relationships. Overall, it is a relationship and how they see you or how you see them is a whole different outlook hmm? from the from who you think you are. So it's good to not only appreciate your friends, but once in a while, take stock and ask them, how do you see me? How do you view me? What do you think my personality is? So sometimes it can be very scary to ask someone about that, but more importantly, it is getting to know yourself and how you come across. So today I was going to be talking about gratitude and in my book, Heal Thy Mind Body, uh, of course you can find that on my website. I, on page 47, I have a whole thing that I wrote in here. It's gratitude, a thankful meditation. So it is doing a meditation on the things that we are grateful. You know, I always talk about being grateful of your body, of who you are, um, your looks, every organ, every tissue, every nerve, every cell in your body that it's functioning to its fullest without you having anything to do with it unless something is off, right? But also having gratitude for the ones you have in your life, being thankful. But this meditation for gratefulness is always allow your body to settle into a state of profound rest and relaxation. And it is tapping within so if let's say something is off in your body and you have a backache or something I usually ask my clients and I'm here have you thought about just sitting and asking yourself or just being so mindful and silent and allow to see if there's any messages in your body messages about what has been happening maybe you are overburdened 
and you feel the weight on your back. Maybe you have been doing a lot of things that energetically it becomes heavy and it's that and it's, that in itself energetically it's a heavy load and you may be carrying it without realizing it. Or a part of your behavior, the way you speak, the way you act, the way you are is so much about from the time that you were a child looking up to into uh, lock, looking up to your parents they are the biggest influencers in our lives right so and i will share with you just in the last few days recognizing i always knew that there was a limitation or something or a barrier a subtle barrier but talking about it recognizing it and sharing it you know this thing that i do as a clinical hypnotherapist i talk about evoke it and then come to embrace it embrace the reality of where we are where i am where you are and it's evoking to see where the problem is and not necessarily because it's bad it's wrong or it is hazardous but it has happened it's a part of our history so our behaviors and patterns and everything that was established as a childhood from the time that we were a child hi Seda John it's so good to have you and then recognizing how it has molded me my thoughts and ideas and concepts about certain things and has created the subtle limitation that no matter what I did it was like not necessarily a wall or a brick maybe a net and it's still a net so it's an energetically a net no matter what I tried it was not working until I recognized it full on and by embracing it and saying yes releasing it now why would I want to release something like that is because I want to evolve to the next level and that's exactly what I do with my clients so by being in the shower today which is one of the other um, guided visualizations that I also put in here in my book it's like I live and I do everything that I write about, talk about. I was in the shower for 10 minutes, more than 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and made the water so hot that as it was hitting my back and just allowing the water to come trickling down, maybe a little bit more pressure, not trickling, I was releasing all that energetic negativity, every thought, every idea, every concept that was coming into my mind that I believed. You see, it's only my perception and it may be, it may not be true to the ones that we think influenced us, but it's our perception. I released it by releasing it. And it doesn't matter if it's good, bad, right, wrong. It just is. So I evoked it, embraced it. And in order for me to evolve and feel lighter, my back stopped throbbing, hurting. So that's one thing you can do for yourself. Be so cognizant. Be so conscious about where in your body there is a hurt where in your mind there might be a limitation if it is your stomach if it is your heart if it is your legs what are steps that you want to take that maybe it's paining you it's holding you back it's throbbing unless you bang it to a something and it's hurting but why so those are the things that we do by tapping within so that's gratitude and 
you may think of it as finding fault, but I truly believe it is being grateful to have the opportunity, the means, the tools, the techniques to not find fault or blame, but to recognize. And recognizing is the beginning. So today, as we are sitting here, uh, there is a group that I belong with, with Forbes Riley and the friends and friendships that we have created. We got together uh, over the weekend. And when we are sitting there talking, one of the things we came up with was we are grateful for this friendship that was created because of COVID. You see, even through darkness, even through times of hardship, the lesson, the gifts, the lights, if we only recognize it, we will see it. It's been four years that I have been coming live and doing my Heal Talk Tuesdays live week after week, week after week. And I have to say I am grateful for you, for showing up, for supporting me. And even through COVID, hopefully a message, a tool, a technique that I have shared with you has been beneficial to you. In my Heal Thy Mind Body, um, when I talk about one of the exercises, it's talk to talk. And because when we say affirmations, when we become so conscious of the words we speak, and when we uh, make our words third party instead of personalize it in first person, and instead of saying, I am hurting, saying, you know, you hurt when you do this, then it distances away from you. And if you could shift that for just a moment, whatever it is that when you speak, you say, you know, it hurts or it's very sad when you feel this way. Become aware. Is it possible that there is something you are sad about, but you just made a third party instead of saying, I feel sad? Or you feel happy when someone does this for you. Then make it personalize it, make it yours and say, I feel happy when you say this, when you do this for me, or when you hug me. It's recognizing the things that matter to you. You know, healing within, heal within, which is the name of my business. It came about because I healed within through hypnotherapy and going from the legal field, wanting to be, an, uh, I was an assistant to attorney, wanting to be an attorney, shifted my entire life over 20 years ago to who I am and where I am today. Yes, over 20 years ago and the transformation that happened and as I guide you or any of my clients in this room over zoom or anything is to recognize that you do matter to appreciate and accept yourself far more deeply than ever before and when you do this and say i do have a loving heart i have a sound mind i have a strong body then you are giving that back to you. So the body truly does what we ask it to. If I want to stand up, first I think it, I visualize it, 
and then I stand up. I don't stand up before wanting to stand up. So in a way, the body follows what we think. And then the heart also does the same. So everything comes from a thought. Creations come from a thought. And today, I want to share with you a poem that I read long, long time ago when I was a kid in Iran. And because Farsi, um, Armenian is my mother language, and Farsi was our main language instead of English. And this poem, as a child, I embraced it. And I took it to memory, and it was so significant for me because of the traumas that I was going through as a child. It became profound. So here it goes. I'll say it in Farsi, and then I will translate it for you because years later, I translated it to English. So in Farsi, it says, Bejayi dastigoli ki fardo bar guram nesor mikoni, emruz, باشاخ گلی کوچک یادم کن و به عوض اشکایی که فردا بر گورم نسار می کنی امروز با امروز با, اش... با لبخندی کوچک یادم کن امروز که در نزد تو هم مرحمت کن آه امروز که در نزد در Oh my God, I have to say this real fast. به جای دست گلی که فردا بر گورم نسر می کنی امروز با شاخ گلی کوچک یادم کن. فردا که بر گورم فردا که Oh my God, I can't remember this. This is something that I say it in my in my dream. I can recite this. Okay. Cancel, cancel, right? Let me begin. به جای دست گلی که فردا بر گورم نسار می کنی امروز با شاخ گلی کوچک یادم کن فردا که امروز که oh, and I said it two minutes ago okay I'll say it in English maybe I'm not supposed to say it in Farsi in English is, instead of the bouquet of flowers, you are to place upon my quiet grave. Delight me now, but a single bloom. And instead of the countless tears, your eyes will shed when mine are closed forever. Enchant me now with but a single smile. Bring me joy today while I am with you still. Tomorrow when I am gone and turned to dust, what use then will be the blossoms and your tears of grief and guilt. Next time you hug a loved one, hear their heart beat against your chest. Sense their pulse in the palm of your hand and feel their breath caress your skin be grateful cherish more listen often and love deeper than ever before because as long as we are here on this earthly body God will grace us through eternity hello shadow And I don't know why I stomped on that poem because only the first beginning is in Farsi and the rest of it I took it and I wrote more because of the appreciation is appreciating everything in our life and being grateful from the smallest little thing even this computer having electricity being present right here 
to friendships, to our parents, and for those who have everything that they take for granted. Recognizing that who you are, we come through them, we are not them. You are you. And it's about time you come to appreciate every essence of you. And if there is any kind of a hindrance, if anyone is standing in your way, if there is a habit, if there is a behavior, if there is a relationship, if there is a person even from the ones that love you the most, You must stand up for you. You must stand up for you. And for that younger version of you. And say. The best is yet to come. And you matter. Because that's who you are. You are the original. Every essence of you is original to you. No one on this earth, even if you had an identical twin, will not think like you, feel like you, or be like you. Similar, but not like you. You are a gift. And today, I want you to embrace all of you. And you know, I have these bracelets that I've been wearing for the longest time from the time that I ordered. And it's on my wrist. And it says, I evoke, embrace, evolve. Because I matter. As a matter of fact, yes, we are selling them. They are on our website. You can go to myhealwithin.com and go to shop and get them. And... We have it in black and gold. We have it in silver. But it's not so much about that. But every part, every every thought, everything you purchase, a portion of this goes to my nonprofit organization, which is Heal Within Kids or Heal Within International, which is for motherless children. And today we were giving away care packages and a father and son came in to get one of the care packages. And the kid says, I didn't know you were here. Can I come? Because my dad and I are only together and mom is not. And he said, mom has been gone for two years. So, remember, in life, instead of waiting for later, find a single rose and make someone happy. Find a joke, a humor. To make someone smile. Instead of later and saying, I wish I could. And if there's someone in your life that you want to hug, you can put the mask on and still hug them. And for those of you who are struggling because your loved one is sick and is not with you or is in the hospital, may God's grace be with you, strengthen you, and know that you are always being watched because we're all children of God. No matter our race, no matter our religion, color, no matter what orientation we come from, today we are one. And for that, I thank you for being present, being here, and I want you to do the same. And for this, let us finish with a beautiful quote 
by Rumi, where it says, Gratitude is the wine for the soul, so let us get drunk. But in a way, the best one is this. Wear gratitude like a clock, and it will feed every corner of your life. That's by Rumi. And for this, be grateful. Go out, say thank you, say hello, put a smile on your face, and make sure that you are ready to heal within. And if there is anything I can help you with to shift a habit, a behavior, or to be of a reminder, by all means, give me a call. My name is Lisa Bubari. I'm here for you. May God bless you and the universal light surround you. Until next week, bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.